Hey guys, it's Brian. Welcome to Financial Fitness. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. In this video, I'm going to talk about two ways in which we think about and handle money. Let's get right into it. So this video is going to be a bit different than most of my others. I wanted to talk openly about money in a general sense. I've been thinking about different ways to talk about mindset shifts and how we think about money. In my past videos, I've been talking a bunch about saving instead of spending wastefully on things that we don't really need. I talk about it extensively in my video about minimalism and avoiding lifestyle inflation. Check that out if you haven't already. I still believe that happens often with most people, but beyond that, I'd like to get you to think about money in another way too, besides just saving and spending. The typical mindset around money is usually around spending and how much you would spend if you had the money to buy or do anything. Not only is that not realistic in many cases, but likely wasteful. Also, I find it interesting and ironic that people that usually have elaborate lists of how they would spend money if they had money is almost endless. But people with money generally have much shorter lists of what they actually spend on, and in many cases, they tend to also not want as much, knowing that it could be wasteful to spend money on an excess of material items. I think there is a lot of satisfaction knowing that they can buy any number of things, but they won't actually buy them because it's not a smart or efficient way to use money when they could be investing it or using it towards a business or something else that can produce additional income instead. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying they don't splurge on occasion, but it's more than likely well below their means if they do. What I'm getting at here is that it seems to be a significant mindset difference between how people treat money regardless of their financial situation. That difference in mindset is what can either make people wealthy at some point in their future or never wealthy at all. Going back to the two ways people treat money, my theory is they either treat it like a tool or a resource. What I mean by that is that while it definitely is both of those things, people usually fall into one category or the other more often than not. When people treat money like a tool, they use money as a means to an end. They're using it to get what they want or some other end goal, and in many ways, that's what spenders do. Use it as a tool to buy what they want. It could be lots of traveling and vacations, or it could be lots of material items or experiences. Some people spend money out of convenience when making purchases. Others make impulse purchases. It could be any number of things. Using money as a tool is not necessarily wrong, but I think just purely thinking about money in this way all the time is somewhat detrimental to your future if it's not advancing you towards achieving your goals. If you balance using money as a tool compared to normal spending, some of the spending can help you achieve your goals faster instead of just spending in excess. For those that treat money as a resource, money is viewed as limited in quantity and supply, but in high demand. When you think about earning a salary as an employee or hourly employee, this inherently makes money a limited resource due to exchanging time for money. So knowing that if you only work for so many years in your lifetime, let's say about 40 years or so, that means the amount you earn over your lifetime is roughly your gross annual salary multiplied by the number of years worked minus taxes on those wages. You can try to include salary increases and such, but it's still a finite amount that can only be so much. This defines why money is finite and limited in quantity and supply. When thinking about money as a resource, you should think about how to grow and use it. By not investing your money or even investing in yourself through education or some other form of self-improvement to expand your skills, saving money alone does not grow your resources or net worth. So thinking about money purely as a resource is not necessarily wrong, but it can be restrictive in terms of the decisions you make. An example of it being restrictive is if your thinking is that money is such a finite resource that you shouldn't be spending it on much of anything, even if that would be things that could potentially advance you towards achieving your goals. Yes, it's a resource, but that doesn't mean you should restrict yourself so much on spending that it prevents you from achieving your goals faster or self-improvement. There are numerous things you can learn on YouTube too, instead of spending money or taking out student loans on another degree. The amount of content that can be viewed on YouTube to potentially learn new skills or quick how-to tips can be almost limitless. There is also an endless amount of cat videos too. There's a saying that goes, you need to spend money to make money. I think this saying largely applies to my point about the way we treat money as a tool and as a resource. 
it's a balancing act between the two where one is not necessarily better or worse than the other, but they need to coexist together. As an example, business owners tend to balance using and thinking about money as both a tool and a resource well to run and manage their business along with make a profit. They spend money on things like hiring employees, paying for workspace, paying for work equipment, maintenance costs, operating costs, and so on, which would be using money like a tool. When they think about money as a resource, they know that there are restrictions within any business like time constraints, deadlines for projects, lack of physical space, small profit margins, and so on, most of which can't really be solved by spending money, but working around these issues instead. Essentially, use money as a tool by focusing on efficient spending to accomplish tasks and goals since money is a limited resource. This applies to how you personally treat money and to how any business should treat money. The focus tends to be on spending when it comes to money, but it should be on freedom or at least shift in that direction. When you think about money and the reason why you work to earn a living and accumulate savings, ultimately it's for the freedom to decide how you want to spend your time. Being able to buy some things that you want is a byproduct of that freedom. Think about money as a tool to help get you to the freedom and flexibility in life that you want, but understand the limitations since money is a limited resource. Buying back your time with a large nest egg for retirement or savings and investments should be one of the mindset shifts to think about. Money is not just about spending or saving. It's about your time and freedom. I challenge you to think differently about your money and what you might do differently after some thought behind whether you treat money more like a tool or a resource. Shift your mindset beyond just saving and spending and add your time and freedom to how you think about money and your future. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked this video and found it insightful. Click the like button if you did. And please subscribe if you haven't already. Click the notification bell so you can see when I post videos next. Feel free to leave comments, questions, and any topics you might want to hear about in future videos to get on track to being financially fit. See you in the next video.